Welcome back. In this section, let us learn more about strings. How to perform various string operations. Okay, let us create a program string index.py. In this module, we are going to learn about indices in the string. String indices. Okay. So let us consider a string like this. Hello. Okay. A string is nothing but a sequence of characters. So on this example, you got characters H, E, L, L, and O. So there are five characters, and these five characters in a sequence are making up the string. Let us assign this string to a variable. Okay. And you can sometimes think of the string as a list. Uh, not technically, but you can access the individual elements in a string that is the individual characters in a string just like you would access the individual elements in a list how using an index like a and then within square brackets you provide the index number and in a string like this hello the position the index position starts with a zero always so the very first position is nothing but an index of zero the next character takes the index of one the next character index of 2 then index of 3 then index of 4 so if you want to access a specific character we should know its index and then give that index number in the square brackets of the uh, string variable okay. so if i want to access the first element which is h i can give an index of 0 like a of 0 and i should be able to um, extract the letter h so i can print this the first character is and then i can print it out like this okay. let's quickly execute this program click on string index.py first character is h as expected now if i want to execute in that similar sense if i want to execute next character i will give one and that would be the second character okay and let me execute this so I was able to get the second character by giving a index position of 1. So if you notice, the position that we are trying to extract is 1 more than the index number. So in that similar sense, if I want the third character, I should have my index number. The index number would be 1 less than the position number. right? So the third character is index 2. And fourth character is index of three, and fifth character index of four. Okay. Hope this is clear. Let's execute this. First character is H, second character is E, third character is L, and then L and then O. So we were able to extract every one of the characters in the string. Okay. What if we don't want to extract just one character, but we want to uh, access a small subset sequence of characters okay what if i want to execute the letters e l and l okay so you can do that as well so let us comment out these print statements here below okay so far we have learned about commenting with the hash sign right so this is to comment a single line if we have multiple lines to comment you can make use of three single quotes like this start with the three single quote and you end your multi-line comment with the three single quotes again so anything in between these three single quotes will be ignored by python as a comment okay. so let's come back to our second um, second example where we want to extract these three letters e l and l okay so if we want to extract e what do we how do we do that so we have to provide the index number of e right so the index number of e is one because it is the second position and hence the index number will be one okay and since we don't want just e alone we want l and then the next l we have to give the range of indices like this the starting index followed by the colon and then the index where we want to stop extracting so which is 
we don't want the O here. So we want to provide the index of this character as the stopping index. Okay. So H is 0, E is 1, L is 1, L is 2, and then O is 3. So if I put the stopping index as 3, what happens is it extracts index 1 and 2. Okay, sorry. H is um, index of 0. E is index of 1. L is index of 2. This L is index of 3. And this O is index of 4. So our stopping index has to be 4. So when I put a stopping index like this, what this means is I'll be extracting indices from 1, which is the starting index. And then I will be extracting 2. And then I will be extracting 3. I will not be extracting the index 4. That's what this means. So if I want um, up till letters the second L, then I should be giving the index of the next character as the stopping index. Okay. So if I print this, extracting indices 1 through 3. Okay? It's important to note that if you need indices from 1, through 3, you need to give the stopping position as 1 more than the index you want to extract. Okay, so since we want to extract up till index 3, we have to give the stopping index as 4. Let's quickly execute this. So, this is 1 through 3, E, L, and L as expected. Now, what if we want to extract all the letters starting E? until the end. There are two ways to do this. One, the same method like this. So we want to start with E, right? So which is an index 1 and then L is index 2, this L is index 3 and O is index 4. So we want to extract up till index 4 and the stopping index hence should be index 5. Okay. If you do this, let's execute this, we get E, L, L, and O. So again, note we wanted up till index 4, and so we need to provide the stopping index as 5. The other way to do it is since we want it till the end, we don't have to provide a stopping index. You can leave it like this you provide a starting index, and then you have a colon, and you don't provide a stopping index. When you don't provide a stopping index after a colon, it means it will be extracted till the end of the string. So if I do this, if I execute this again, okay, so we got the same result. It extracted till the end. So if I had like hello space world, then in this method, I don't have to again calculate what my stopping index is because I'm not giving a stopping index. So all the characters till the end will be extracted and printed. Low world. Hope this is clear. Next, uh, let us look at a negative index. Okay. Just like we have a positive indexes like this, where H takes the index of 0, E takes the index of 1, L takes the index of 2, and so on, we have negative indices as well. Since this is 0, what is minus 1? Where does it exist? It is nothing but the last character of your string. So last character of your string takes a minus 1. And the last but 1 takes an index of minus 2. And the one before takes an index of minus 3 and so on. So each of these letters have two ways to access it. You can access it by its positive index like a 0, 1, 2 or 3 or you can access them from reverse like minus 1, d is minus 1, l is minus 2, or is minus 3, o is minus 4, w is minus 5, space is minus 6, and this o is minus 7, and this l is minus 8, this l is minus 9, this e is minus 10, and this h is minus 11. So to prove that, let us access a of 0, which is h, and a of minus 11. Okay. This again should be H because counting from backwards, we saw that 
the index minus 11 uh, was in this position. So we should be extracting H again. So print index zero has the character and then also print index minus 11 as the character. Okay, let's quickly execute this. Unterminated string literal, okay. So we need to close the string like this. So we execute it. As you can see, index zero has the character H and index minus 11 has the character H as well. So these are two ways of accessing it. And if you want the last character, which is D, you don't have to count all the way from here um, to find out the position. It is often easier to do A of minus one, and that should give you the last character. Okay. And the last character is A of minus one. Let's execute this. You can see the last character is D. Similar, similar to the positive um, indices, you can give a range in the negative indices as well. So if I want, say, the last three characters or uh, your yeah, last four characters, let us see. Print the last four characters are A. So what, what is the index position of the last four characters? D is minus one, it's minus two, minus three, minus four, right? So it starts with the minus four, and then you don't provide a stopping index if you want it till the end, okay? So if you do this, we should be getting the last four characters. Okay? We should be closing our print statement, the parenthesis, let me re-execute, O, R, L, and D. So we got the last four characters.